Hey everybody, Woomate Creations here and this is G and I am going to show you how I change out my feet and a little bit about some of these feet. Um, right now I'm getting ready to uh, change from this single AccuFeed foot holder. This is the VD foot, VD foot and it is great for um, decorative stitching and I use it to put my binding on my machine uh, binding on my quilts totally by machine um, uh, so right now I will I, I usually when I change these out I usually don't like to have my needle in there so you got more room to deal with so but before I do that I will show you how this can be changed out you can just pull this foot towards you and it uh, unattaches from this foot. There are two like uh, insets here and you've got these two pins and these slide right into those two spaces right there. Okay, so this VD foot, uh, the single one, it holds also the ED foot which is a zipper foot. So I'm going to just hold this. And I like to put, when I change out the foot, I like to have the holder on the machine because it just makes it easier to um, click this in place. So I'm just putting these pins in here and I'm pushing it and it's now in place. Also on the back, when you're using any of these, you wanna make sure that this lever is attached in the back or else it won't provide that walking foot feature. So now that I have this on, um, I can just start sewing. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna remove this one and I'm gonna show you the one that came with your machine. This one is an additional purchase and in my opinion, very well worth it. So I normally just untighten that screw or loosen the screw and just take this off but i don't take the screw all the way off i leave it in place i leave i just leave enough room to take the holder off so this one is the one that came with your with your machine and it's like double in size so this one provides you a slimmer um area a slimmer thing to have to look around so this is the part that goes in on that screw and I'm gonna just put it in place. And when I do that, well, I'll take that off for now. Uh, when I do that, I'm gonna just hold the holder and push it gently to the right so I can tighten this screw and have this in the correct place. I'm gonna just finger tighten it first I'm going to make sure that is engaged in the back and I will use my screwdriver and tighten it up. I will put the screw heading towards me, turn it towards me and it'll tighten. So now I want to put this foot on here and it's the same. It's got these two pins here that slide into this holder, just push it in place and voila it is done so now when you are sewing this this will move up and down and and grab that foot okay so that's the ad foot now i'm going to show you this is the ud foot with which is an additional purchase with for your machine it's great for applique it's great for doing walking foot quilting uh, with your decorative stitches. And um, to me, it's a very valuable foot. So it also goes on here the same way. I'm just gonna line those little pins up and push, and then now it's engaged. I just always make sure that the back is engaged as well. Uh, sometimes when you are sewing something bulky, it can pop out, pop out and pop off the, the hook back here and that will cause you not to have the walking foot feature again so um also uh 
I have another video that shows you how to override your machine to make the decorative stitches be able to be used with the dual action, the dual feed. So refer to that video if you don't know. So that's, that's the UD foot. So now I'm going to show you the SD foot. Now this was an additional purchase as well. Um, it is for stitching in the ditch. Uh, I basically never use this because I don't care for stitching in the ditch. But there's other uses for it too. You can also uh, move your needle over and just use this as a guide if you'd like. So that is the SD foot. This one was an additional purchase as well. And it is the OD and it is the quarter inch AccuFeed Flex foot with the guide. So if you like to do your quarter inch sewing with a guide, this is your foot, okay? Um, so, those, that's all that. Now, to put your needle in, in case you didn't know, um, this is a Janome purple needle. It is a 9014 needle, and it is your best go-to needle, in my opinion. I believe that if you are going to free motion quilt, or if you have a, any other issues with your machine, um, say you're skipping stitches or um, you're getting elongated stitches and stuff, oftentimes if you just put a brand new purple needle in your machine, your problems will go away. But uh, for sure, when I'm gonna free motion quilt, I use a Janome purple needle. It's essential to me. I also believe in the Oregon brand needles. Um, they do a, a good job as well, but, um, and I, you know, you, I suggest you use them. They're a lot less expensive than the purple needles, except if you're going to free motion quilt or if you're having issues, put the purple needle in. I promise you that most of the time it will be your saving grace. So when you have your needles, you're gonna feel, and there's a flat part to the needle, okay? That flat part goes away from you. So the rounded part is looking at you. And if you hold it and just push up and tighten your screw with your finger, it'll, it, it, you'll know that it's in there correctly. You just have to make sure you've pushed it all the way up. I also, after I put the needle in there and tighten it with my fingers, I will also use my screwdriver and turn it away from me and that'll tighten that needle in there. Okay, so I believe that is all I wanna say about these uh, AccuFeed Flex feet. And um, thanks for watching.